What's going on guys, Greg here, and in this video I just want to go over the EQ match setting in FabFilter Pro Q2. This is a really useful uh, tool for uh, if you if you like a certain or a certain way that a sound sounds and you want to apply it to a sound that you have. For example, I have two drum kits pulled up here. Um, I like this guy right here. Uh, but I also like the tone of this guy. Okay. Well, what's cool is you could actually go ahead and uh, you could set the EQ match. Set the side chain here in Logic. And you can actually set the side chain as the EQ match. And now when I play this, Logic is going to measure both the input EQ and the side chained EQ curves. And when I click match, I can actually apply the side chained EQ curve to my current sound. So I'll go ahead and do that now. This white line down here, this is the input. This is the 60 shuffle drum kit. And this red line is that side chain input. Now if I click match, this white line up here demonstrates uh, the curve that the yellow line is now trying to match to give me that 80s backbeat sound on my 60s drum kit. And I can select different uh, the different amount of, of bands or however many bands I want. I'll just stop at 19. I'll mute that and I will solo this. And now I have that 80s backbeat EQ curve on my 60s drum kit. Very cool, very useful, kind of nice to uh, use as a reference point on, um, let's say, like a master track if you like the a certain way something sounds. Um, kind of nice you can figure out maybe how they EQ'd it or get in the ballpark of how something was done or how certain uh, EQ curves were made and where there were boosts, where there were cuts. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope you learned a lot. Um, stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching, and happy producing.